everybody, welcome to this edition of the Sunday Monday Vlog. I figured I'd try to get a little bit of the sunset. I'm headed back to the ranch. I picked up some peacocks, which I'll show you tomorrow. And uh, this edition is going to run late. It's probably not going to be out till Monday evening. I've had so much stuff going on. Uh, on my plate and with the ranch and everything else that I've gotten behind. I know I didn't have a video today, which is Sunday. Of course, you're going to see this tomorrow, which will be Monday. Um, I've just been totally swamped. So I'll go over everything when I get back to the camper. And then tomorrow, I'll do some filming of everything and then try to edit it tomorrow evening because I got an appointment with my designer for the house, the person that's doing the drawings at five o'clock. So I should be home by seven, hopefully get everything edited and get it uploaded by 10, 11 o'clock uh, Monday night. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit when I get home. And I'm sorry you didn't get to see as pretty colors as you see in person. My phone just does not pick it up. So I'll talk to you guys in a few. All right, so it is five after nine. Just got done feeding the animals outside. And you can see everybody's waiting their turn to eat the dog food since they've been outside all day. Mickey, Max right here, Mickey in the back. He already ate. And then, of course, the puppies and Mama, which they had KFC and Sonic today. But uh, it's only a couple small pieces of chicken. But anyhow, this is life of homesteading. You know, 9.05 in the evening, just got done everything. Now i got to sit back and relax. So I'm going to film the rest of the Sunday, Monday vlog tomorrow when I wake up. Because I'm just too exhausted to sit here and think and go over things. So Mia Mouse says, Daddy, time to relax. Right, Mickey Mouse? Right. So I'll be back with you guys come the a.m. All right, so like normal, I changed my mind. I started thinking I've got so much to do tomorrow. And I have some filming to do because I'm going to show you guys the emus. I'm going to show you the peacocks. And uh, I just figure I might as well get this video filmed tonight uh, for me talking. Since some of you love to hear me talk, I don't know why, but you do. So here's the talking part. So, what has happened this past week? What's been going on? What is coming up? Well, a lot of stuff. So, for those of you that don't follow on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or uh, anything else, a lot has happened. I purchased a livestock trailer, which you'll see tomorrow. And Mia Mouse thinks it's playtime because I'm in bed. She loves playing. Hey. Hey. I'm trying to film. I'm trying to film and you're being a goofball. They're all being goofballs. I got all three kids. We got Max, we got uh, Mr. Chubbs, and we got Mia Mouse. Minnie and Mickey are in the back and they're like, they're in the front. And they're like, I'm done with it. Uh, but anyhow, so I got the livestock trailer. I could not get financing on the trailer. For those of you that don't know, I just got a credit card in December. I haven't had a credit card or payments or anything in over nine years. So I have no credit. And no credit is worse than bad credit, I found out, when I tried to get a mortgage on the ranch. So the only way I could get financing on the trailer is a cosigner. Well, I, I'm not doing cosigning. So I talked to the owner of the trailer place and... They've been screwed over 100% of the time. They just helped one of their employees get a truck. It was like eight nine $9,000, and the employee left the state. So they're stuck on the hook for that. So I'm like, look, I am an alien of my word. Not a person, an alien of my word. And uh, they took a risk on me. And then I remembered that I cashed out some of my cryptocurrency. And... Uh, it ended up coming in the next day in less than 24 hours. So I went back to the trailer place. I gave them $1,000 down when they said yes, because uh, that's what I had on me at the time. 
and I went and paid the other six grand. The trailer was roughly seven thousand uh, dollars, all in all. So they were shocked that I was in there in less than twenty four hours. Paid it in full, and uh, that was good. So my one trailer with the fence sides on it that I was going to take to the scrapyard because it's falling apart. Um, I told they asked what I was doing with that trailer, and I said I'm just going to scrap it. Well, they are giving or they gave me two hundred and fifty dollars towards my trailer that I bought uh, for that trailer, which of course I would have only got like forty or fifty dollars at the scrapyard. So that was a that was nice. And uh, I told them I have another one, the flatbed trailer, that's over at the house still that I sold. And I'm going to get that tomorrow. They're going to give me another $250 for that. Hey, I'm filming. People got to hear me. They don't want to listen to you. You crazy mutt. Yeah, you crazy mutts. So... That's what I got going on tomorrow. I got to go get... I got to put the tires and everything back on the trailer. Because I haven't cut it up, luckily, yet. And, uh... Haul the trailer down... To the trailer place as long as I can get it there. Because the springs are broke on both sides. So I'm going to have to limp it. It's going to be a long drive. So, the reason I got the big trailer... That I got the livestock trailer... Was because I got emus. I said... Back in January, or December... Whenever it was that I was going to do emus and peacocks this year. Well, I got emus. The bad part is uh, when we tried to load the emus the first time, uh, one of them got their head caught and snapped their neck. And so I had to get a better trailer for them not to be scared. They didn't have to go up a ramp or nothing like that. And these dogs do not listen. See, this is Anatolian Shepherds. They don't listen to you. Right, Chubbs? And uh, so I went back. They had five more emus. They had six all together. So I bought the other five. And long and behold, there is a emu loose in Fremont County now. Because I tried to work on some fencing. And a split second of having the fence apart where I was getting ready to wire tie it to the next section, the damn emu bumps me and goes right through the hole and disappeared over the mountains. So, I'm down to four emus. Uh, so that was $250 down the drain. I paid $250 a piece. And, uh, you know, what can you do? That's homesteading. You lose animals... Who knows? It might come back. I have no idea. So the bigger news is I just got home from picking up peacocks. So I officially have peacocks. So I knocked out two of my goals for this year, uh, 2019 goals. And uh, it was three white males is what they had for sale. That's what I went out for. Uh, they think one of the white ones might be a female. The whites are really hard to tell, the male to female. And they're less than a year old, so that makes it super difficult. They said the only way to find out is to DNA test, and I'm not going to pay for that. Uh, they raise and sell uh, wild birds, pheasants, uh, quail, all different types of birds. Uh, they had this golden-capped red bird. Um, I forget what it was called, but that thing was really cool looking. And... Uh, I say, is there any chance you would sell one of the other peacocks? Because they still had a bunch of peacocks. So they said they'd be willing to part with one of their females. It was, I think, a blue pied or something like that. So I got one female for sure and three males, possibly one of them being female. So I might have two males, two females. Not sure. The whites I paid $100 a piece. The uh, blue one I paid 75 which is a good deal because they're all going to be a year old in June or July, something like that, they said. And they won't uh, start breeding and hatching until three to four years old. And they won't get their big tails and all that until like four or five. So it's going to be a journey. And uh, it's a good thing I'm filming this for the next 150 years because a lot of changes happen almost decades down the road. So it's going to be a while till we see some progress there. 
But it's a start. Same thing with the emus. Uh, there were seven eggs there when I left. I have no idea what got loose, whether it was a male or female. Hopefully, it was a male. And I know I at least had one female because of the noise that uh, the guy told me the difference. So, I should get eggs starting in January next year. And then I just got to get them out of the cold so they don't freeze. And we'll see if they're going to sit on them. So, that's a lot of stuff that's been happening so far. Um... I got an email, uh, some of my nut trees and my painted mountain corn are in shipment, in transit, on their way. Uh, the 500 pounds of uh, manure mix, this is all they do, all night long, until I tell them go to bed. When I go to sleep and turn the lights off, then they get down on the floor, and then Minnie Mouse comes up and sleeps with me, uh, and Max normally. Ladies, right down there at the foot of the bed. Uh, I emailed. Her, hey, that was me. I touched your butt. See, like he gets all upset. He thought the puppy was biting his butt. Uh, so I was supposed to get the seed last week. The seed did not come in. Um, so I sent an email yesterday, and today, first thing in the morning, there was an email stating that. They had a delay in the their, them getting the peas in for all the different things. And since peas are part of the green manure mix, they couldn't make my mix without the peas. So they just got it in Saturday. They mixed it today. And they're going to ship it either Monday or Tuesday as soon as they can get all the labeling, packaging, the freight uh, information, and all that stuff done. So as soon as that gets in... Uh, I've got to build trailer walls for my flatbed trailer that I bought for hauling the tractor. I have to start getting mulch brought up as soon as the seed comes in so I can get the seed out, get the mulch down, and let the stuff start germinating. Because we're at the point now, last night was 29 degrees, but very, very, very tiny bits of green are starting at the base of the grasses and stuff like that out here. And uh, so I want to get that stuff going. And these guys are going to get whooped. Knock it off. So, that's it on the uh, trees and stuff. I have another order that will come with the bamboo. Uh, I believe that one's coming the end of April. I've been working on fencing for where the nut trees are going to go. And I just got another thing of T-Post. You'll see tomorrow when I go to uh, film the peacocks. I got 120 more uh, five foot T posts for the short fence. And I'm going to pick up another roll of short fence tomorrow uh, when I go to town. And it's just a lot of stuff. Oh, and on top of all that, I've got a, a call back from the survey company for the property lines. They won't be back till the 10th. Uh, so I have to call them on the 11th. And then my house plans. Are being worked on as we speak. I have a meeting tomorrow at 5 o'clock. That's why this Sunday Monday vlog. Probably won't get done until. Uh, Monday night late. And because I have to edit. I have to upload. Do all that type of stuff. And that's after I go to the meeting. So hopefully as soon as that gets done. I talk to the county. They are happy with everything I got. And. They said they will waive my septic not being in right now. And as soon as I had the drawings done, the only thing left is the foundation engineering plans and the roofing engineering plans. And once those two are done uh, after the drawing, because I need the drawing for the engineers to see what I want done. Once those three things are done, they will waive the septic. And I just can't get an occupancy title in the house until the septic's in. So it looks like, let's see, we're in the first week of April. So I would say probably by May 1st, I'll be able to file the building permit as long as everything goes smoothly. So that's pretty much it on everything going on. I haven't had any questions from anybody, so I don't have any uh, questions and answers right now. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or whatever, Feel free, comment down below. Uh, 
I guess the last thing before you see the videos outside and stuff of the animals is cryptocurrency. So for those of you that don't know, and those of you that do know, cryptocurrency skyrocketed last week, the beginning of the week. I got into trading again, and I got emotional uh, in my trading, which I should have never done. I was up, I want to say, $140,000 in about three days. And it turned and started tanking. And I was watching it, and it was dropping like $1,000 a second. And it went down and down and down and down. And I was afraid that it was a bull trap and it was going to go way back to the lows back in December. So I cashed out, cashed out $160,000. So I'm like, geez, I look back an hour later, I sold like $3 from the bottom of that drop. Well, it turned around and went all the way back up. So, long and behold, I've lost out on about $180,000 in profits that I could have had already if I wouldn't have cashed out. But, on the flip side, I cashed out like almost $11,000 to my bank. Out of that money, that paid for the $7,000 trailer. And then the $150,000, I reinvested when I saw it turn around to go back up. Of course, it had jumped so high, so I bought in at a higher rate. But as of about an hour ago when I checked before I started uh, making videos and stuff, my account was sitting at 209000 So I'm up $59,000 for the 150000 I have invested. Altogether, I had 160. I cashed out 11000 so I roughly have 150000 of my money in. It's at two hundred nine now. That's $59,000. So, it's going to keep going up. So, I'm not going to touch it right now. So, that's not bad. You know, 59000 positive. It's not as good as 180000 if I wasn't stupid and got emotional. But, uh, I haven't traded for a while. We've been in a bear market for the last 14 months. So, things are cooking. So, like I said, hopefully by June, July... We should be full force into the bull market. I'll be able to cash out, you know, $150,000, $200,000. Still have a couple hundred thousand in there, hopefully. And then by Christmas, the bull market will be full in effect. And whatever I have left should jump. And that's where I should cash out, like I'm hoping, around three quarters to a million dollars. Buy the parcels around the ranch. Get the ranch built get the house built, get everything set up, and get the petting zoo going, and uh, really get this journey cooking, rocking, and rolling. So, fingers crossed, everything works as my alien intuition is telling me, minus when I get emotional trading. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead, get on some TV, and snuggle with my Boogs, because he's such a good man. Right, Boogies? Say, Boogs is such a good man. And he's on camera. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. I hope everybody had a great week. Spring is in the air. Allergy season has already started. There's already been a couple fires here in Colorado. And uh, beautiful, beautiful weather. Minus nights. Like I said, last night was 29. Today, 78 degrees in Colorado Springs. It was beautiful. So, talk to you guys later. 7.31 in the morning. And look who is a lazy stinks. Mama Mouse, she don't want to get out of bed. She said, I'm staying in bed for a while. Same thing with Mickey. Mickey's down there, seeping his life away. Got my cup of coffee I'll be back in for. I figure I'd go ahead and show you guys everything before I get everybody fed and get started for the day. So, Max and... The puppies are out here. And you can see everybody's there waiting. Everybody's waiting for their food. Got Miss Daisy right there. So we're going to go down here. Check out these peacocks. There's the trailer that I bought. 
And for those of you that haven't seen yet, there's my uh, green mini truck. We got Mr. Maximus right here. We got Miss Mia Mouse right there, all excited. We got Mr. Chubbs coming. So let's check out these peacocks. Where's the peacocks? There's the peacocks. So they think one of the females that has all the stuff on her head is a female. Um, because it's a girl thing to pull out the tops of their head. And the other two white barely have anything. And then the blue female has stuff on her head. So, who knows? I might have two females, two males. Not sure, but that's what they look like. And let's go down and I'll show you guys the emus. And then uh, I'm going to get everybody fed. There's Mr. Olaf. There goes Miss Tove. There goes Mimi. And then here's fencing that I worked on. So I got a bunch of this fencing done. I, I, uh, I'm going to continue it up along the fence. But I got to get the tractor in here. And I got to drill the holes for all the trees. And, uh, like I said, I got another thing of T-Post and back to the trailer. And I got another row of fence that's sitting up there at the end. But here's the four emus that I still have. And, uh, I think the only one has name, which is Henry. And that's one of these. I don't know when he, this one's Henry. Because Henry likes to come up to me. Right, Henry? Or no, that's not Henry. Because that's got blue on side head. This one's Henry. Mr. Henry. Come here, Henry. What, now you ain't going to come to me because you're on camera? You don't want to document it? What's up, Bubba's? Henry. Well, normally I can pet him. And the blue-headed one that was I thought was Henry let me pet her or him the other day. And you can see Henry goes after them. Mr. Henry. Mr. Henry. <laughs> so, these are the goofy e emus. They're goofy looking. The peacocks are goofy looking. The alpacas are goofy looking. And I'm goofy looking. So, it's true. The pets take after their owners. So I got some good footage for the release of them going after the dogs and everything. And uh, that should be out in another week and a half or so as my videos catch up. And that's it on the home front. So I'll talk to everybody later. They're all waiting for feed. And uh, I'm going to get beat up <laughs> if I don't get them fed. So get him, Henry. Get that, Max. Get that, Max. <laughs> Max missed stop. Hey, 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 hey. Henry's gonna stomp you guys. You guys knock it off. Chubbs, me and Mouse. But that's it on home front. So I'll talk to everybody later. Henry's gonna beat up on some dogs. And that's it. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful day once it warms up. Max, I'm gonna beat you. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys on the next Sunday, Monday vlog. All right, one last thing. You can see all the emus right there at the corner. That is the first time they have come to eat when I fed all the animals. So that's a big change because they were in a small little pen where I got them from, and they stay within about 100 feet of fencing, and they haven't gone down to the pond I try to walk one down to the creek got a drink from the creek and then took back up and they stay in that little section of fence so hopefully in a couple weeks seeing that after what like roughly a week that I've had them that they finally came over to eat with everybody maybe another couple weeks or so they'll start venturing throughout the property that is fenced and uh who knows, maybe the fifth emu might come back. Highly doubtful, but maybe. And uh, update on Thelma. She st still looks very pregnant. And she's uh, not walking as, 
easily as she used to. And you can see her boobs are getting big. They're starting to. So uh, I think she's getting close to delivering. And one other thing that I got done, I captured all the goats. For those of you that haven't seen the goats get their feet trimmed, got them all trimmed. And Ghost, who everybody knows was a disaster the first go around, he actually wasn't that bad this time around. The worst one was Baby Boy, which was a shock to me. So everybody got their feet trimmed. They all got dusted with diatomaceous earth. And uh, after I got done filming, Mia right there, she's on timeout. She had a duck in her mouth. So she didn't kill the duck. I caught her in time. So she's on punishment. But that's it on the homestead. That's it for this week. And I don't think there's anything else that I missed. If I did, I'll cover it next week. Besides that, the ponds are all thawed out. And it is a whopping 41 degrees right now. It was 33 when I woke up. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. All right, Homesteader family. So I was moving some stuff with the tractor. And uh, Max was going crazy. Mickey was going crazy. And I come running over here. And I got a surprise. I know I said that's the end of the Sunday Monday vlog, but I wasn't expecting this. And I wait till you see what I got. So like I was saying, I thought Thelma was pregnant, but guess what? Sweet Pea is in the process of delivering babies. And look at that cute little guy. So this is just a little uh, sneak preview for the Sunday Monday vlog. And I'm gonna, Max, get out of here. And I'm going to keep filming, but it'll be on a different video. So look at that little guy, and we might have some more coming. So stay tuned.